Let's say we have two game objects, object A which has script A attached to it and object B which has script B attached to it. And let's say that script B has this method that we want to call from script A. We do that by creating a public reference to script B in script A. And then let's say that when we press the P key, we want to call this method. How do we do it? This is how we do it. We call target script and then we call the method. One thing to note is that the method that you want to call in script B has to be public because if it's private, as you can see here, you will get this error. So make sure that it's public. All that's left to do is to assign the target script reference by dragging the object B into there. And it will automatically pull the script B component. And now if you press play, everything will work fine. This works great when you can manually attach the reference before the game even starts, but sometimes you have to do it dynamically. So let me show you a few ways that you can do this. So in the start method, I'm just going to set target script equal to, and then we're going to find the game object by using game object .find, and we're going to find it by name, object B. And then we're going to access the component, which is script B, that is attached to it. Another idea is to use find with tag, which will return the first game object that has this tag. And finally, you can use find object of type, which just returns the first game object it finds that has this component. If this video helped, consider liking and subscribing.